All right, you guys. Well, I'm in the black 06 Grand Prix today. See my red Prix over here. But I'm about to make a run out to the salvage yard. I'm looking for some some parts for the Grand Am, and I got quite a bit of stuff to do on the red Grand Prix today. I'm gonna do the transmission cooler do an oil change and a few other things but I want to go out to the salvage yard and see if I can find a transmission a five-speed for the Grand Dam build I was looking online on eBay and I found a a performance racing flywheel for the rear wheel drive 3800 cars like the Camaro and the Firebird <clears throat> and so that's like 90 bucks 100 bucks for the flywheel and then I found a stage 2 and a stage 3 6 puck clutch kit with the slave cylinder for it was like 100 bucks or 120 bucks So hopefully I can get that stuff ordered, but I want to hold off on ordering it until I actually find the transmission. And that way I'm not just ordering parts, it's just going to be sitting around. I could use that money for other things at the moment. <clears throat> but that is in the works, so uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that stuff. But right now I'm headed out to... The pick and pull salvage yard. It's about four miles away or so. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated and let you know what to find. Alright, you guys are coming up on it. About to be pulling in here. There she blows. It's my spot. Kind of busy today. I'll let y'all keep y'all updated on what I find when I get inside. Alright, found my first Goody Impala SS of 5. Supercharged, completely wiped out on this side. Some nice struts on it. Door panels look pretty sick with that SS on it. Nice. Someone cut the whole fucking roof out. Nice. Still has the gauges in it. All these extra gauges. Ooh, look at that boost gauge. Ooh, I like that. I might have to get that anyways. Just to resell it. Alright, well. I got the dash piece out. Looks good. Also has a nice spoiler on this thing. I'm not going to pull it off though. Thing looks good. Uh, Alright, so I found this 07 Grand Prix. Uh, and the transmission has totally been rebuilt. Or well, it's a reman. It's super clean. It's a hundred bucks. Thinking about getting it. Let me know what y'all think. Alright, so I found a 97 Park Avenue Ultra with the supercharged engine. It's missing quite a bit of shit. There's definitely some good parts here. If anyone's looking. So I found a little turbo on this diesel. No shaft play. None at all. 50 bucks. 
Someone try to get it. That's a damn pipe. <clears throat> Alright y'all, I'm over here at the apartment. So, I got a new bumper. Forgot to film putting it on, there's the old one. I got a new bumper for the back. I got a new side mirror. It actually has a glass in it. It's got a couple little scuffs on it, but nothing too bad. And now I'm doing an oil change. And gonna start working on the trans cooler. But for now, it's getting there. Bubble one, bubble one. Okay. All right. Let that drain. Oh, that's draining. Loosen the cap. Pull the dipstick. in here pretty soon we got a brand new rock and pinion coming for the red pre but this is my old mirror see the glass just falls out but i got the impala ss cluster with the boost gauge and i found me a nice ebay strut one Alright, it'll work. That's for this. I got a vacuum line for the supercharger for the Series 2, the L67s. I got two sets of spark plug wires, that set, and this set. These are the max protection max power lifetime i got this trans dipstick and then i got 12 ev1 fuel injector connectors i got all those for free you know charge me for those and then he only charged me for five of 
the 12 spark plug wires. <clears throat> so that saved me a little bit. But overall, it was a really good day at the salvage yard. Now, they do have a transmission and another 07, like I mentioned earlier. That it looks like it's got a reman transmission. And it's not the HD like the supercharged car, it's an NA, but it's a reman. And I think I'm gonna go get it because it's only a hundred bucks. And I'm pretty sure I just fucked up the transmission and the red pre doing burnouts because it's whining like a motherfucker now. So I don't know if it's the pump or if I just, I don't know, fucked up the clutches or what. Like it still pulls, it doesn't slip. <clears throat> but it's definitely whining <clears throat> other than that and I'm really thinking about getting that transmission <clears throat> then I'm probably going to have this I'm going to clean it up post it for sale I'm going to see how many miles is on it <clears throat> see what the mileage says so I got that Impala over there and then my buddy Tommy has the same body style Impala <clears throat> so I'll be able to plug it in see what the mileage is and go from there but overall it was a pretty good day so now hopefully I can just keep having more good luck and I get some shit done you have a good day and I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how all this goes when I get to that point. Alright. Alright you guys, so I have to change out the strut on the little six. I got it jacked up. Got it on a jack stand. Three bolts on top. I've seen these B15s. I've seen them B13s. Just depends. These were 15s. And you got these two bolts right here. These are 21. Old one's out. New one's going in.
bam, just like that, it's on. All right, you guys, I got the strut done on the Black Grand Prix. Now I'm working on the 3.8 swap Impala. It's got a misfire. So, I got a set of spark plug wires, those blue ones, for this from the salvage yard today. These. So, <clears throat> these are going to go on. I've already started taking the old ones off. So, <clears throat> but I will keep you guys updated whenever I get done. But I also have another set of spark plugs. Done. All right, y'all. So I'm swapping out this door panel. Sides, put this back, pull the candle out. <clears throat> Alright, now the only reason I'm even swapping this is just because this one has a cigarette burn hole in it and this one's nice. So, both of them are good. I might swap out the switch <clears throat> since that one's worn off. This one looks a little nicer. Take some of these clips. <clears throat> but I'll let you know when I'm done. Alright, so I've got everything swapped over. I swapped over the all the switches right here. I got everything wiped down. Got all these scuff marks off as best I could. I got all the clips I stole for that car's door. Back off of the old one over there. So now it's pretty much the reverse. Take this, plug it in, flip this forward, there we go, alright now it's locked, now this part's kind of a pain in the ass. You gotta get this little thing to go through the hole. And you gotta get this metal on the back side here to hook on this. And get these all, clips all to line up all at the same time. <clears throat> so it's kind of a pain in the butt. But I'll come back to you when I got it on here. Alright, I got the panel just stuck on. So now the only thing left is the two screws. It's kind of a pain in the ass. There we go, got it. Trim piece. Just 
clips on. And your door handle piece. Just pull the handle out. Run it through the hole. No more cigarette burn. Sweet. All right. Now the black bar has a gray door panel to match all the other gray door panels and the gray leather seats out of the O5. Hundred and thirty nine, one thirty nine, one ninety eight. It's coming along. Here, I want to give you guys a start up on the three eight swapped Impala since I got the spark plug and the wires done. Cold start. Got some power in it now. Definitely fixed the misfire. Slow on power steering. Well, I got some of that, so check engine lights on again. I can clear that. Man, the power steering is big. Just throw the fuck down.
that is probably a power steering lead. Right. Yeah, because it was full, but that's okay, I guess. And I did, uh, I got that SS, that Impala SS cluster from the salvage yard for 20 bucks. And it's my buddy's birthday in a week. And he wanted it for his Impala, so I'm going to take the one that's in his Impala now and put it in this one so it'll at least show mileage and the trip and all that. So <clears throat> I'm going to be swapping that probably tomorrow or later tonight, depending on when he gets back. But <clears throat> I'm not going to let this run any longer. It's leaking probably power steering fluid again. Right. But it runs a lot better. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. It's definitely got its power back. And this thing is doing alright. Transmission's hurt. I'm gonna get that transmission from the salvage yard for this because it's a reman and it's a 07 it's not a supercharged car but it'll work i'll swap the diff and it'll be mint so i think that's gonna be it i'll keep you guys updated all right so i'm all got all my shit all picked up and that's about to be cold start Everything on the red Grand Prix.
And this is on the 3-4 pulley with the belt wrap. Because it was running like shit with the 3-0. But I really think it's the fuel pump and the filter. So once that new one gets here, then I'll get it swapped out. And hopefully that'll fix this issue. Then I'm also getting the 80-pound injectors. I'm going to swap those in and I'm going to get it retuned to the 80-pound injectors whenever I get the intercooler. But right now, I'm just going to roll with the 42 and a half until I get the intercooler and get the rest of the parts that I need to run the intercooler. I think that's going to be about it for today. Oh shit, Tommy left. I got my spot. Alright, I'll be back with y'all in a minute. Alright y'all, so I'm over here at my mom's. I'm taking the bumper. Old bumper off the Red Grand Prix. There's nothing wrong with it other than some paint stress and stuff, but I just want to sure look at this if I can look it. I just want to make it look as nice as I can make it. And for 40 bucks, I couldn't really complain, so. bumper, the old head, I got a spare trunk, and now a spare door panel with a cigarette burn. My mom's granddad, three, four swapped. I'm actually gonna put this in the shed so the switch doesn't get messed up. Parts got brake calipers, uh, brake boosters, master cylinders, steering column, fuel rails, side windows, wire harnesses, Grand Am headlights and tail lights. That's a Grand Prix, two uh, windshield wiper fluid bottles. Now a door panel, some got two Grand Am fuel tanks, a Grand Prix fuel tank, a bunch of Grand Am air boxes, a bunch of Grand Am rim air parts, some Grand Am rear door panels, two of them. 
a bunch of Grand Am uh, dash bezels. Yeah, I got lots of parts in here. I got a lot more in the trunk of the Grand Am over at the storage. I think I got some Grand Am spring. Oh, there's some Grand Am fans. I think I got, oh yeah, some airbags, fire extinguishers. Uh, some springs for Grand Ams. I if I have the mount for that. This one's empty. Be refilled. I don't know if I have the mount for it though. If you guys need any parts for a 99 to 05 Pontiac Grand Am or 04 to 08 Pontiac Grand Prix, let me know. I got lots of parts. If you guys need a hood, it does have a little bit of damage right there. I really like that one about the car. I do like 40 bucks for the hood. So I just got the new bumper for 40 bucks, so I do this one for 20. I'll do that trunk for 30, so 40, 30, 20, if any of y'all's interested. Still got nice good tread on the tires. So they should, they're brand new, so. Oh. Oh, battery got low, can't use flash. Alright guys, my phone's dying. I'll get back to you.